Hey guys, so this is my first video here on YouTube. My name is Stephanie, and uh, what I'm going to show you today is the planner that I'm using before I get my Filofax. It is now December 8th, and I do plan to get my Filofax around Christmas time. So I am using this planner um, just in the meantime. Um, this is an Organize Her Planner by Mead. And um, I love the colors. It's a little bit scuffed up. I've had this for a while. Um, I bought it um, to help me organize myself before I went on a trip a couple years ago and never touched it again. And then um, I rediscovered it, changed the layout a little bit. So on the first week here, you can see it was a little bit hectic. I kind of just jot down things that I wanted to remember and to do in a random fashion. Um, and then the next week, I changed the layout. I made it more like a traditional planner. Um, and what I mean by that is I split up the pages among days and the weekends in uh, two smaller squares. And the to-do list, I kept the same, but um, it's implied that any to-do list in this area would be for Monday, any to-do list in this area would be for Tuesday, etc. So things that I write in there would be like little, like, get milk, bread, and eggs, bring your workout clothes to work. On this side, you can see that I have some highlight um, highlighted stuff in green. These would be events and... Um, any birthdays, um, holidays, etc. I have the dates highlighted in orange at the top. Um, what I use to highlight is these two um, Crayola markers. Um, I've had these, I have a huge pack of them uh, sitting around, and um, these are the Pip Squeaks, and they're really great. Um, they were sitting around, and I had no idea what I was going to do with them, and then I realized that a lot of them were light enough to use as highlighters. So um, the paper in here is thick enough that it won't bleed through, which is awesome. And the pack, uh, the colors match perfectly with the cover of the agenda. So continuing on, I just have this laid out same way. And I have it set up until the 27th of January. I don't think I'll be using it that long since I do plan to get my... Filofax by the end of December, which I do plan to get the Domino A5 in black. So I do have some tabs here, and what I use for that is these um, Avery um, transparent, reusable, repositionable tabs. They're really great. You can reuse them. That's why I have um, the titles written down in pencil. So the first one is this week. The next one is health and fitness. And what I track in here is just my workouts, generally what I have eaten during the day. I don't calorie count, but I do like to keep a food journal just so that I know what I'm eating, what I'm putting in my body, etc. In the to-do section, I generally put in stuff that I need to do in regards to my skin because I do have eczema and it gets really bad uh, around this time of year, so it's really good for me to keep a journal or um, just track my progress with that. Um, so with workouts that I did, I write down in red any workouts that I'm planning, but I'm not sure if I'm going to get to for sure. I write in black. If I didn't get to them, I cross them out. If I did, I'll bracket them in red. So the next section is my finances section. This is um, not very interesting at this point. Um, I changed the layout to a week on one page just because I know that I won't be writing a lot. Um, all I have here is a payday highlighted in that turquoise color. And in here I have bills that I need to pay. And the last section is... Sorry guys. The last section is ILC and that is for the online course that I am taking. Um, I just added this yesterday so I haven't had a chance to fill it out for next week. But basically what I'm going to be doing here is um, setting, uh, setting due dates. Setting personal due dates for myself to finish particular assignments in the course. 
so that hopefully will work out for me. And I really do love the layout of these pages. I might even, these are perfect for the A5 to, um, binder and they're perforated, so I might just rip them out later, um, like the blank ones, because there are a bunch of blank ones still that I probably won't use. But yeah, I'll just tear them out, hole punch them, and put them in my Filofax. So that is the layout. In the back here, I did make a pocket for myself. I had a really hard time finding some scrapbooking paper that I already had that matched. So I just got this, um, the one that matched the best, I guess. I uh, just taped it around. Um, you could tape it on this side, but uh, sometimes I fit some bigger papers in here. This is just a business card. Um, so I like that extra give. But yeah, that is my um, makeshift, I wouldn't even call it a file fax because it's not even a binder, but my planner until then. Um, when I do get my file effects, I will be posting um, a video, opening it up, and um, an update video with how it's going. I hope you enjoyed the video, and let me know if you have any questions, comments, suggestions below. Thanks for watching, and have a great day. Bye now.